guys, Steph here. Now, I was contacted recently by a gentleman by the name of Scott Pauley. Now, Scott actually got in touch with me and said, um, I've designed a new um, Parker Vacumatic Extractor or Pump Removal Tool. So, would you be interested in having a look, testing it and trying it out? So I said, yes, of course I will, Scott. And in turn, he sent me the items and here they are. Now, before we show you the the tool um the tool itself he also actually sent me these two here which are pellet pushers now the nice thing about these particular pellet pushers well if i show you my old one look at that just plain and smooth in some cases quite slippery whereas the one that scott or the the ones both of them that Scott actually sent me, look at that. They've got this lovely grip to the pellet pushers. Now the reason this too, um, Scott explained to me that um, one is what he terms as a normal one and one is what he terms as a deluxe. And the deluxe, I think, is this one which allows you to use both ends. You've got the tapered end, which is like the old version on both of them whereas this one I believe I'm not too sure I actually got them mixed up I, th I believe this is the deluxe version where um, you can actually use both ends if you wish because um, he actually found that somebody asked him that they prefer to use if you like this sort of blunt end here but either way both a vast improvement on the old pellet pushers that we use with this Again, this lovely sort of chased gripping, gripping area. So excellent for people um, that have got trouble with their hands, haven't got a very good grip. These are absolutely superb. I'm more than impressed up to now with these pellet pushes, and uh, one of them we'll try out um, in a little while on the video. Now this is how the tool actually came to me, it comes in this sort of plastic box and there we go, we've got all the information, the inky nib, home of the original Parker Vac extractor, um, we've got Paulie's, uh, sorry Scott's um, email emails there and what I'll actually do in the description later on I'll leave you all the information that you need to actually purchase this particular tool um, because basically I've only actually looked at it very briefly and from what I can see without actually using it so far so good I'm quite impressed inside what you get is actually the if you like the handle which is this piece here and then inside what you also get is these two collets you can see obviously one is smaller than the other the reason being the small one is used for the deputant the standard and also the Parker 51's and the larger one is used for the oversized and the Maxima Vacumatics. Okay, now to test the pen, I'm going to be using the small one, so we'll put that to one side. Inside, what you also get is this sort of nylon washer, which I believe goes over the thread like so to the bottom there, and that sits like so. So, there we have it, there's the tool first of all so what we're going to do well we're going to test it nice and simple so what we need now is a pen to test the tool on and here we have our pen we've got a lovely cedar blue Parker Vacumatic made in USA now what we need to do first of all unscrew the blind cap now for a lot of you people 
Oh right, I don't know what's actually happened there. Let me just reach over and get a tissue. There we go. Ah, right. So we've got lots of sort of liquid coming out and <laughs> actually the reason being, um, nice and simply, because what I've actually done is actually salt inside the pen overnight. We left it with water in inside so that's the remnants of the water coming out so hopefully that'll help us removing removing the, the vacuumatic pump so not a problem now a lot of you people will have the sort of old-fashioned vacuumatic extractor tools these wrenches unfortunately as you can see these only apply pressure on two sides also they're actually spring loaded so you'd have to put it on hold it down and they are very uncomfortable and you have to keep applying pressure because repeating myself they are spring loaded so it'll be interesting to see how this particular tool works because what we didn't show you before you can see on this particular collet you can see the pressure will be applied on three areas so let's get on and try it so what we do quite simply is actually just simply screw the collet onto the vac pump like so now the nice thing about this is when we actually assemble the pen sometimes you'll find when you put the blind cap on it doesn't align how it did originally because well whether we're using the old sort of vac wrenches you didn't have much control of how you actually pulled out this this vacuumatic pump but here we can actually screw the collet up to the shoulder of the barrel which makes it excellent for when we come to realign and replace um, replace the pump again so what we're doing is inserting it back into the tool and at this point I'm just simply screwing the screw end back like so very comfortable so we don't want to over tighten it, I think that'll be more than adequate. Now for any reason you have a problem or you may have actually screwed it on too tight um, just to the bottom there, I don't know if you can actually see it inside we've got a little hex nut okay and what you will need is a 3 16 um, hex hex key there or what we term here in the UK an allen key and you can pop that in and release it so what we've done we've actually screwed everything on tightly now first time I've ever tried it so let's keep our fingers crossed and let's see if it unscrews ah, so far so good that feels good incidentally as you saw before the water coming out all inky as I said I personally left it soaking inside overnight if you find it difficult to remove apply dry heat to this particular area here being very careful obviously you don't want to distort the barrel right what I've done I've actually just pressed the end there so I've actually released it so let's try that again do we have success no we don't <laughs> so as I say first time I've actually used it so please bear with me so what I may need to do is tighten it up a little bit more so as with all these pens everything doesn't work to plan so what I'm actually going to do now is if I actually reach over and get my trusty little hair dryer I will now apply heat to this area here and then we'll try again 
So, I've now applied heat to the area there as we showed you. Something seemed to go then. And there we go. There we have it. So, so far we've managed to remove it like so. Okay, as always what you'll find inside it tends to because of the age of it if you like and the ink so what we'll do we'll use this little dowel we'll pop that inside and being a little bit careful as oh well as careful as we can be because we don't want to break the pump actually feel all the all the diaphragm inside is that literally sort of solidified so there you go I mean it's all live it's first time I've used it so what I'm going to do I'm going to try and actually remove the barrel here by working on the solidified diaphragm inside trying to remove that and then we'll come back again to you and there we have it after sort of prodding inside there, sort of removing the the sack etc, you can see we've now pulled out the vacuumatic pump. Okay, now the nice thing about it, once again, you've still got this sort of handle to grip on and it makes it a lot easier to work on the pen. In fact, you can actually just leave the pump in, um, as far as cleaning it concerned, what I'm actually going to do now is just simply remove the old pellet inside, inside the pump there and then we'll come back, put a new diaphragm on it, pop it back in the pen and see if it works. So once again, so far so good. So there we have it, everything's nice and clean now. You can see we've cleaned this aluminium aluminium shoulder we've removed the pellet from inside cleaned out all the cup there don't forget also to clean out any remnants of sack that's remaining inside the barrel there so what we need to do now let's uh, let's get a new diaphragm with a pellet inside a little bit of soapy water and let's just push that all the way home and then I get this little plastic tube and insert it inside like so I get a little bit of dusting powder like so just to give it a bit of lubrication don't use sort of normal talcum powder that's not very good and then what we do we simply says he simply all oh, right well we didn't want that but there we go <laughs> don't you just love it when things don't go to uh, to plan but we're nearly there there we go there we go just a little bit stretch it so it's just on the right back on the shoulder there we go oh that looks fine so we've got our new diaphragm now, so what we're going to do again, just apply a little bit of soapy water again, just bear with me, always, uh, always difficult when you haven't got much room, so there you go, we've got a little bit of lubrication there, let's insert it back into the pen, being careful there we go and then let's screw let's screw it back in so let's do it the other way and again we screw it as far as it'll go like like so and there we have it nice and simple and then to release 
what we do just simply unscrew the knurl at the bottom here just give it a says he <coughs> okay let's just uh, I've got what it says on the instructions oh there we go <laughs> I think that was a bit of overkill but it doesn't matter there we go it's all come out as it should and then if we unscrew the collet there we have it we've installed the new pump inside like so that feels okay yep and I've tested it on my tongue and we've got su suction so everything looks fine and there we have it what we'll do now we'll put the whole assemble the pen together or we're going to give it a little bit of a polish first um, we'll assemble the pen and we'll do a little writing test for you but at the end of the day it's all about this tool here and to be quite honest with you Scott yeah it's a great tool well manufactured great idea and the thing that I like about it is that especially when I was trying to remove the the old pellet etc you can actually grip this and all the way through you don't have to remove uh, the vacuumatic pump and it makes it great to hold and to work on so thank you Scott Pauley for this lovely tool I hope you have uh, lots of success with it. I'm sure you're going to going to sell a lot of them. It's a very, very good tool. My other vac wrenches will now be made redundant. And this will be used from now on. So once again, thank you Scott. And for you people out there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave all the information that you need uh, from Scott down below in the description if you're interested go and have a chat with Scott great tool and so with the help of this tool this Parker vacuumatic extractor tool we now have a fully working absolutely lovely Parker Vacuumatic fountain pen fully fully restored and ready to go so at this point all we need to say is And there we have it in full working order so thank you Scott a great tool and I would be happy to recommend it to anybody looking for a vac removal tool it made my life so much easier so there we have it 
So from me, this tool, this pen, and don't forget, I'll leave all the information that you need to get in touch with Scott down below in the description. But for now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.